Right, four 0 win against Dungannon Swift tonight. Was another good night for the club. Yeah, fantastic. You know, it's exactly what we wanted coming off the back of the Crusaders game. Uh, get back down to business now to make sure that after the Rasmataz are playing in front of the TVs and Friday nights, big crowds and that there, it was important that we, we showed the right mentality there tonight and and, and we showed exactly that. Like, and, and Lee gets us off to a flyer was exactly, again, is what we were hoping for, get the early goal and force them to come out and play a wee bit. Yeah, I was going to say maybe similar to uh, Friday in a lot of ways with the, the fast start and, and the early goal and uh, it really did set the tone again for the match. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, that's at least on a great, great form at the minute. Like, he's he's a real poacher in the box now. There, he's waiting for them with opportunities. He nips in ahead of them, and we bit heads in the defence from them, and, and Lee capitalised. So it was really, really important to settle us. Like, I mean, we got the early goal because we we, we watched them against uh, Dungannon against Glen Torn there at the weekend, and they really frustrated Glen Torn, and they had great shape and good discipline. And, that there. and, and Dixie's got a really good team there in Dungannon. There, I know the results maybe don't go quite suggest that. Like, I mean, but they're a very, very hard team to break down they worked very very hard so yeah listen it was, it was important to get the goal and then Mark's goal came at a really good time too and at 2-0 like you know you you stick or twist you keep going for more goals and that like I mean and it got a wee bit frustrating for a pass fell like but listen got the job done yeah maybe at 2-0 in the last 10-15 minutes they possibly uh, you know thought there might be a wee opportunity there and, and, and push forward a little bit but we we find our ruthless streak in the last couple of minutes and uh, finish up four yeah, you know, two 0 like you know, hung for sheep, hung for lamb. You got to go for it, like you mean. And they came out and they had a bit of a go. They they made changes. They changed the shape. They threw a lot of men forward and they went back to front quite quite direct for them. We did, but we wellered it and we done well again. I thought Kean was magnificent tonight again. Sean done well. Uh, Donzo was excellent. So again, Jack comes in and did make his competitive debut in the league. So it was, which is another plus for us and, and keeps a clean sheet. So um, yeah, all in all, it was uh, that was very very pleasing from that end because we wanted to get back to keeping clean sheets and be ruthless at both ends of the of the of the, of the pitch you know, but again the third goal came just at the right time and we caught them trying to play at the edge of their own box and Leroy punished them yeah I was going to say another four goals at home um, but the clean sheet at the other end I'm sure will will please yourselves as a, as a staff just as much yeah, we, we, we pride ourselves not at the start of the year that we, we looked at last year and felt where could we improve and, and conceding goals was definitely an area we felt we could, we could tighten up on. Um, like I said, that's not just the defence's responsibility, it's a work rate that comes from the front too and it falls into midfield and everybody working so hard whenever we do lose possession. And I think that was evident tonight again with everybody putting in a monster shift again, like you mean, so... It's, it's, it's another opportunity for us not there to show how, how hard working team and the mentality that this team has now formed, you know, about seeing out games and being consistent with how we perform, like you mean, and it just stems from pure dirty hard work. Uh, and we go back to the, the top of the table, presumably that doesn't mean a, an awful lot at this stage, but does it change mentality in terms of being there to be shot at, or we just keep taking one game at a time? No, I know it's a bit of a cliche, I like to mean, but it is very much one game at a time. Um, tonight was about doing a job against Don Gannon, about being professional, about making sure that we were self motivated before we actually went out to the game. So we were, and we were exactly that. From like I say, that was a testament to the fast start. Uh, we now turn our, ten, turn our attention to Porter Down at the weekend, you know, and, and we'll prepare for them the exact same way we prepare for everybody. I know we can't dictate what other teams do, you know, and, and, and truth be told, we only really want to focus on what we do and, and, and take care of what we do. And, and if we do, then we'll be all right. We'll be there thereabouts. I think it'd make it with tonight's victory. We've uh, surpassed just over uh, half the amount of points we got last season, and we've only played you know a third of the amount of the our game so far. It is still early, but does it show you know we have started well and we are building momentum at least? I think it shows mentality, you know what I mean, and that's what the gaffer really looked to find in that there in the summer. We wanted to be tougher, we wanted to be a bit more resilient, we wanted to show in that there that we can do both sides of the game and, and mix it as well as play, you know, and, and I think again we've seen that tonight with some of the goals, you know, and the breakaways that we have, you know, we've scored four, but we could have really scored maybe a lot more, right? I mean, double that wouldn't have been a misjustice with the chances that we missed, you know what I mean, but again, can't complain, clean sheet, four goals, and we go again on Saturday. Yeah, and just finally, um, it'll be top versus bottom, I suppose, on Saturday, and, and maybe another, you know, test in that sense against a, a Porter Down team, you know, wanting to get points on the board, having to go away from home, you know, all those sort of little things that add up to to make it a big test on Saturday. Yeah, now listen, now he's gone back in there, and he's a Porter Down man, like you mean, and he's really passionate about the football club, so he'll have them fired up and, and motivated for the game. You know, it, it's a challenge again that we have to be prepared for. We had a tough game down there earlier on the season, and a pollinated header was was the difference between the two sides in that day. So we'll need to be at our best. We'll need to prepare again. We'll recover after tonight, uh, and we'll and we'll start a preparation again tomorrow morning. Like you mean, and try and in preparation for Porter Down. Brilliant. Thank you.